So what's the first step to work with a mediator? First, I think look around in your area and see if there are any recommended mediators. A lot of times there are a handful of people that have been doing this work consistently over time and have a good idea of how to facilitate a settlement or negotiation. One thing to understand about mediation is that it's really, you're not bound by it. Okay. So what does that mean? That means when you start working with somebody, you and your spouse are just agreeing to discuss these situations, right? These issues. You're not agreeing that you will stick to any one position or that this is, um, you know, set in stone. So if you're going to work with a mediator, understand what their background is. Do you have a complex financial situation? Do you have multiple businesses? That might be a great situation for a financial neutral or a financial expert to get involved as a mediator. If you have basically a lot of legal issues, maybe some parenting issues, and then your traditional, you know, two cars, a house, um, kids, and and expenses dealing with that. You might be able to work with any mediator that understands the process and the legalities in your state. Um, but typically asking some attorneys, there's a tremendous amount of attorneys and financial pro professionals who are moving into mediation um, for various reasons, mostly because you have more control over it as the spouses um, but also because there are things that we can do outside of court that the court won't allow. For example, in the state of Missouri, um, if you want, if you're going to be paying alimony or maintenance, which is what we also call it, um, if you go to court, the court is going to issue that alimony forever. If you settle it outside of court, then you could determine that you will pay alimony for five years or some alternate date, um, but that cannot be determined currently in the state of Missouri. So that would be a benefit to working with a mediator. But the mediator could tell you some other benefits specifically in your state, and I would reach out to also somebody that you connect with, right? Do they explain the financial things well? Do they explain the legal aspects well? You know, does it make sense? And you also need somebody that's going to protect both of you. Okay, so you really want somebody that's going to be neutral in the middle, understand and see both of your positions and both of your um, sides, but also to give you very salient information that will help you guys settle your situation.